Hello, I'm Tom McCormick, and we're here today in Ojai, California, looking at manure and composting in the process. As you can see here, manure will accumulate in paddocks and in fields where your stock is grazed. The problem with this is that during the rainy season, when it rains here quite a lot, the nutrients that are contained in this uh, manure are going to wash off in a single season. They will be gone. Uh, they don't last for a very long time. They're very leachable uh, nutrients that will just disappear. Now they don't actually disappear because where they end up going, they either go up into the groundwater or they're going to the surface waters of the Ventura River or other rivers in Ventura County. The problem there is that they, they contribute a lot of nitrogen and phosphorus which in turn stimulate the production of algae in those streams and tributaries. That algae crowds out native species, it also uses up a lot of oxygen, and so it can, can put some of these native species, especially things like steelhead trout, at risk. So the idea about composting is we're going to take this liability, this, this, this horse manure or cattle manure, and we're going to turn that into an asset uh, through the composting process. By composting this horse or cattle manure, you're going to change the form of the nutrients within it. They'll become more stable. They'll leach out over a long period of time. We're talking five years now instead of one year. This gives plants an opportunity to take up those nutrients and use them. In addition, all the weed seeds will be killed. So you won't be spreading weeds around your paddocks and other areas and landscaping areas. On top of that, we're going to be killing all of the pathogens that are within this. And so you won't reinfect your stock uh, with uh, some of the pathogens that often are found in the, this type of manure. So there's a lot of benefits to composting, and it is not a difficult process. And very importantly, you're going to eliminate or reduce the fees that you have to pay to have this stuff hauled off because you have turned what was a liability now into an asset. And actually, you can sell this as well. So there are a lot of benefits to the composting process. The aerated static pile system was developed by the U.S. Department of Agriculture in the 1970s. And I'm standing next to examples of this technology right here. It eliminates a lot of the labor and equipment costs associated with more traditional composting. The composting process takes place in about half of the time of a traditional composting system. You eliminate odors, you eliminate vectors such as flies, and also you capture a lot of the nutrients that would otherwise be lost into the atmosphere during the composting process. For owners of small number of horses, O2 Compost Systems of Sonoma's Washington has developed a scalable aerated static pile composting system. I'm going to be talking today a little bit about the micro bin system that they developed. So now we've loaded our micro bin with horse manure, bedding, uneaten feed, and capped that with material that was previously composted. The great advantage of this is it reduces flies. Flies do not find this previously composted material attractive. Additionally, it acts as an insulating blanket, keeping moisture within the pile, and also capturing nutrients that might be outgassed. So for the next 30 days, we don't have very much work to do at all. We will come out and check the temperatures uh, using a, a thermometer like this and perhaps a clipboard to monitor to see where our temperatures are going. But other than that, it's hands-off operation. Uh, there is no smell. There are no flies. It's a pretty good system. So I'm here standing next to a micro bin where we've been composting horse manure for about a month. And you can see that the temperatures here are still in excess of 130 degrees. To reduce pathogens and to kill weed seeds, you only need to be above 131 degrees for three days. And this uh, bin has far exceeded that requirement. You'll notice that the top is very dry, but if we pull this back a little bit, then you can start to see that even just an inch down is still moist. This keeps the process growing and makes a hospitable environment for the microbes that are breaking down the material within the pile. This is a pile of finished compost. For our materials, we used horse manure, bedding, and uneaten feed. Uh, it sat within the aerated static pile system in the micro bins for 30 days, uh, and then we took it out and we've piled it here. It can sit for another 30 days, and during this time, fungi within the pile will further break down the organic matter, making even a better material. Material in this pile hasn't been processed, so there's been no mechanical screening, no grinding, anything like that. And so what you'll find is you'll find what were called horse biscuits, now they're nutrient biscuits. You could further process these if you wanted to and grind them up into a fine material. It's up to you what, what use you want to use with it. If you dig into the pile right now, you'll see it's, it's wet underneath, uh, and if you smell it, and I wish you could smell this, uh, it does not smell at all like horse manure. What this smells like is the forest floor. 
uh, that tells you that this material has been composted. It is now ready to go through a, a secondary process where the fungi will break this down even further, and then it's ready for use on your land or landscaping.